be doing a Holy Spirit report today. So before we get started into that, we'll get started into prayer. And I want to thank you, first of all, for the YouTube family member that gave us this Holy Spirit report. And if there's anyone else out there that has another Holy Spirit report, um, you can comment that in the comment section. And we'll do our next upcoming video on the, um, once we receive that comment on the Holy Spirit report. Or if you that sent this Holy Spirit report have another one, you can go ahead and comment as well. We'll do that in our next video. So thank you. Okay, let's get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know about this Holy Spirit report. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, and a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today, Lord. And give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to listen to and read and how to apply that today as we put on the helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness belt of truth feet of readiness shield of faith sword of the spirit guard and protect us as we're traveling today to and from our different locations in our vehicle as well and others and their vehicles our loved ones and their vehicles and the animals as well send down our guardian angel to protect us today we thank you for them Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions out of our minds, spirits, and hearts so we can focus on you right now, Lord. And we pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video this channel and everyone listening today we pray for favor over this video this channel and everyone listening today and lord if there's anyone struggling with anything today we pray that you help them in whatever struggles they're struggling with we pray for healings over people's bodies minds and spirits over their families over their marriages and over any and all brokenness in their lives right now and lord we pray that if there's anyone we need to be praying for speaking encouraging words to or listening to just show us that person today lord and we pray over our leaders us our loved ones in the world for godly and divine wisdom to make the right choices today we pray for favor over our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world. We pray for divine protection today over our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world. We pray that you heal our land, Lord. And Lord, if there's, we just ask that you forgive us of each and every sin we committed against you, others, or ourselves, whether it be in word, thought and our action and we forgive those who've sinned against us Lord um, we pray for our enemies and anyone listening today that has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior that today will be the day if they would like to do so Lord we pray John three sixteen over them for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten son that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so if you prayed that prayer with me today you will go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted jesus as their lord and savior for it's not by works so that no man shall boast it's only through the perfect sinless life that was jesus being born died buried and rising again for our sins and the salvation of the world that we're able to go to heaven so you can know that you'll get to see your loved ones in heaven someday if you accepted jesus as your lord and savior today we thank you lord for them help them in their daily walk and relationship with you and show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory in jesus name we thank you and pray amen 
Okay, we'll get started in the Holy Spirit report. So I'll be reading what our YouTube family member wrote. So, and there are Bible verses in this. So if you'd like to, I will reference those that you can follow along as well. All right, thank you. In Bible, the word father has often a much wider meaning than how it's tra traditionally used now. Any ancestor, founder, first ancestor, bringer up, nourisher, master, teacher, possessor. In following verse, it's first ancestor because it's speaking of Judah's fornication, a.k.a. the Jews going back to the book of Genesis chapter 38. See also the book of First Chronicles chapter 2 verses 3 through 4 and all of the Genesis in the book of chapter 38. And in the book of Leviticus chapter 18 verse 15, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 1 through 4, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 15 verse 2, son of Adam, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, verse 3, and say, Adonai Yahweh says this to Jerusalem, your origin, Judah, and your birth, beginning of your line, are of the land of Canaan. Your father, first ancestor, was Amorite, mix of Judah and Hittite, and your mother, a Hittite. Verse 4. As for your nativity, and the day you were born, your navel was not cut, nor were you washed in water for cleansing. You were not salted, nor swaddled. In the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. You represent the salt of the land, but if the salt becomes tasteless, by what can it be salted? Judah's line of inheritance was not salted, and we know where their main representatives are. And that is in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 44. As you will see, everyone who uses derivative proverbs will use this proverb against you, your Jews, saying, as is the mother, Hittite, so is her, Judah's daughter, mine. Verse 45. You, Judah, Jews, are your mother, the Hittite, a daughter, Amorite, who loathes her husband, Adonai Yahweh, Seboeth, and her husband's sons, Israelites. And you, Judah, are the sister of your sisters, Samaria, Sodom, etc., who loathe their husbands, two Messiahs and their sons, true Israel. Judah, your mother was a Hittite, and your father, first ancestor, an Amorite. Verse 46. And Judah, your elder sister, is Samaria. She daughters who lives to the north of you. And Judah, your younger sister, who lives in the south of you, is Sodom and her daughters. Verse 47. Yet you, Israelites, did not walk in their ways, nor act after their abominations, but in a very little time you were corrupted more than they are in all your ways. The book of Matthew chapter 23 verse 15 states, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you go around sea and dry land to make one proselyte, and when it's done, you make him twice as much a son of the valley of Hinnom as yourselves. The book of 1 Chronicles, 1 Corinthians verse 15 verse 33 do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. Verse 34. Return to sobriety of mind, as is right, and do not commit sin, for some are ignorant of the knowledge of God. I speak to your shame. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 48. As surely as I live, declares Adonai Yahweh, Judah, your sister Sodom has not done, neither she nor her daughters, as you have done, Judah, you and your daughters, Judah's line of fornication. Verse 49. This came to the, be the inequity of Judah, of your sisters, Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her, and her daughters, nor did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Verse 50. And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Sign. So I took them away in keeping with what I saw fitting. Verse 51. Nor has Samaria committed half your sins, Judah, 
But Judah, you have multiplied your abominations more than they. And Judah, you have justified your sisters in all your abominations that you have committed. Verse 52, Judah, you were judged your sisters. Bear your own shame also. For your sins, Judah, that you have committed were more abominable than theirs. They will prove more righteous than you, Jews, and be disgraced. And bear your shame, Judah, since you have justified your sisters. Verse 53. When, therefore, I will restore them, Sodom, Samaria, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, then I will bring back the captivity of your captives among them. Verse 54. So that, Judah, you might bear your own shame, and you might be disgraced in everything you have done, Judah and that you have a comfort to them. Sodom, Samaria, verse 55, Judah, when your sister Sodom and her daughters will return to their former estate, and Samaria and her daughters will return to their former estate, then you, true Israel, and your daughters will return to your former estate. Jeremiah, verse 51, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 57, and I will make drunk her, Judah's rulers, and her, Judah's wise men, her, Judah's governors, and her rulers, and her mighty men, and they, Judah, will sleep an age-long sleep, and they will not wake, says the king, whose name is Yahweh Seboyat. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 56, Judah, for your sister Sodom was not mentioned by your mouth in the day of your pride, verse 57, before your wickedness was unveiled, Judah, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 7, like at the time of your reproach of the daughters of Syria and all who are all around her, the daughters of the Philistines who despise you everywhere. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 28, the voice of those who flee and escape out of the land of Babylon declares in Zion, the avenging of Yahweh, our Elohim, the vengeance of his temple. Verse 29. Call together the archers against Judah, Babylon, all you who bend the bow. Camp against it on every side. Let none of Judah them escape. Repay her in keeping with her work, in keeping with everything she has done. Do to her, for she, Judah, has been proud against Yahweh, against Idawash of Israel. Verse 30. Therefore her, Judah's, young men will fall in the streets. And all her flood, men of war will be cut off in that day, declares Yahweh. The book of Hosea, chapter 6, verse 9. And as the gangs of robbers lie in wait for a man, so the company of priests murder in the road by consent, for they commit lewdness. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 58. Judah, you have paid for your lewdness, cowards, and your abominations, declares Yahweh. Chapter, verse 59, for Adonai Yahweh says this, I will deal with you, Judah, in keeping with what you have done, Judah. You who have despised the oath, the book of Second Samuel, chapter 21, verse 7, and breaking the covenant, killing the Messiah, verse 60. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with you, son of man, David, Ephraim, in the days of your youth, the book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse 3, and verses 2 through 7. And I will establish an age-enduring covenant with you, David Ephraim. See the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verses 14 through 18. Verse 61. Then Judah, you will remember your ways, lewdness, and be ashamed when you, David Ephraim, will receive your elder and your younger sisters, and I will give them to you, David Ephraim, for daughters, but not because of my covenant with you, David Ephraim. Verse 62, And I will establish my covenant with you, David Ephraim, and you, true Israel, will know that I am Yahweh. Verse 63, So that you, Judah, might remember and be confounded and never open your mouth any more because of your shame, Judah, when I have accepted an atonement for you, true Israel, for everything you, David, Ephraim, through Jesus, have done, declares Adonai Yahweh. 
And that's the end of the Holy Spirit Report. I want to thank you again, YouTube family member, for this Holy Spirit Report. And if you and or someone else has another Holy Spirit Report, go ahead and comment those in the comment section and we'll do our next upcoming videos based on the comments and the order they're received. I want to thank you all for listening today. Hope you all were blessed as I was today. And until next time, bye.